ladies and gentlemen, all stars of the Midwest here. I am Jeremy Jacobs, joined as always with Brady A. Desire. And what a show we've got for him this week, Brady. Do I have to write it down for you? Oh, oh, sorry. We're like five episodes sorry. in now. Sorry. At no! Brady A. Desire. It's Brady A. Desire, the voice of 3XW. But feel free to get my weekly Twitter plug in there for me. It's at Brady A. Desire on Twitter. You can tweet me. And I'm sure you've got the graphics department oh, yeah, working on yep, it. Yep, right the now. graphics guy, yeah. Anyways, back to the show here. What an exciting matchup we've got starting things off. John West taking on a newcomer from Japan, Sentai. I thought he was from Mexico. Um, he speaks Spanish, but is Japanese. He's multilingual. That Anyways, Ravishing Ryan Slade taking on Mad Dog McDowell. I've been looking forward to this match. Finally, Mad Dog gets his hands on Ryan Slade, the leader of this whole smear campaign towards Mad Dog. You mean, finally, Ryan Slade is going to get his hands on Mad Dog in exact revenge for his very best friend, Jimmy Rockwell. Also our main event, Rory Fox takes on Devin Carter. Rory Fox has been at the middle of this, you know, personal struggle with, uh, you know, as many of us come across when our career or personal lives aren't going the way we <laughs> originally had planned. Uh, you know, do the right thing or do what might be best for his career. I already know what, uh, what you're going to tell him to do. What advice do you have to offer? To Rory Fox battling his inner demons, hey, that's, you know, that's, that's pretty heavy. Some pretty serious stuff. Well, we'll see what happens, folks. Enjoy the show. John West has been sort of lost here as of late. You know, the defunct Rage Brigade gone. Uh, we haven't seen Stephen King in, uh, you know, since November. John West is like, like a lost sheep without direction here. Be interesting to see how the young Sentai fares against the season. I mean, you want to call John West a veteran? Well, he's a veteran of losing to Brady A. Desire, that's for sure. <laughs> Who haven't you beat in the locker room? It's it's quite a short list, actually. You'd be surprised. And the only reason I haven't beat them is because they're afraid to face me. There we go. Sentai's got a hit, stick and move here. Now he's got to use his speed to his advantage. He can't match power with John West. Oh! You know, Sentai, for being a Japanese Mexican, is very white. Well, it's the middle of, you know, winter here in Iowa. Oh! John There's just West. cross faces there from John West. John West is looking to add another head into his duffel bag. <laughs> Would that give him the eight that he needs? Potentially. Ooh, stiff scoop slam there. Oh, what an elbow drop. Uh. You know, I heard John West moved to Chicago for a little bit. But he was so bad that they didn't even want him. They sent him back. Well, I don't know how about that. I mean, have you checked your sources with that? Have you fact-checked this? West got him up. Standing, delayed, vertical suplex. Oh, comes crashing down to the mat. Well, if it's on Twitter, it has to be true, right? I have heard that. And again, John West pulling Sentai up from the mat there. I mean, that might not be wise. You gotta pin the man while you got him down. You can't give your opponent any sort of separation or second chance. Oh, what a forearm shot. That might have just took the second chance right out of Sentai. Oh, now come on, the referee's gotta step in there and get him off the ropes. He's got a five count, the referee's not even counting. What a vicious series of maneuvers there. I mean, we've seen an attitude change in John West for quite some time now, but this has got to be the most vicious and aggressive we've seen him. Yes, now had he been this vicious and aggressive when Brady A. Desire was actively wrestling, we could have been the longest reigning 3XW Tag Team Champion. He is one half of the longest reigning 3XW well, Tag Team Champion. We could have beat that record. Now oh, Sentai trying to do everything he's got to fight back. Go for a tornado DDT. Oh! Up and down with a sky high. John, you 
And just like that, a little bit of offense that Sentai had going for him. John West just cut it right out. The crowd trying to get behind Sentai here. It could be a little too late. Sentai fights out. Oh no. Oh, powerbomb into the turnbuckle. Oh, what a clothesline there from John West. Oh, that's gotta be all. And mercifully, it's over. John West just so impressive and dominant in that match. Mercifully, I thought it was just getting good. Although, I do have to ask a question. Would that be considered a hate crime? He beat up. John West, I don't know if our cameras caught that. He seems very underappreciated, underutilized here. 3X Wrestling. Well, as well he should. The man is a former 3XW Tag Team Champion. He used to headline shows with The Desires. And now, now he's in the dark match? I would be very upset too. You know, this is kind of peril to some of the treatment that Brady A. Desire used to get around here. Was that, is that why you were forced into retirement? Nope, just one. And the very first recipient of the desire, most desirable wrestler of the month here in 3XW, my good friend, Ravishing Ryan Slade. I cannot tell you how excited I am for this match. Ravishing Ryan Slade coming to the ring here with Nikki Paris, I believe was her name. This mystery woman that we saw get involved at the end of Uncensored with Ryan Slade. Is that no mystery month. women, woman? That is one of the many women in the long line of women that are waiting to be at the side of Ryan Slade. Now this whole attack campaign from Ryan Slade started when Jimmy Rockwell suffered an injury in the middle of the ring in a match against Mad Dog McDowell. It was, it was, a, it was a freak accident. Rockwell just landed wrong. Got that hip injury. You know, I'm very disappointed that you did not point out the brand new wrestling attire that Ryan had Ryan Slade had made specifically for this match here tonight. Well, I've got a lot on my mind. There's a lot to talk about. Oh, now, come on. Never a lot for rewards. Uh, Ryan Slade. You know, I think we're going to have to get some of these men sitting ringside. We're going to have to start handing out towels and drool buckets the way they're drooling over Nikki Paris here. It's quite offensive. I'm offended for her. I'm sure you are. Not to mention the puddle that's collected up here in the booth. Hey, Nikki Paris is a friend to Ryan Slade, therefore she's a friend of Brady A. Desire. 
Mark McDowell. Mad Dogs McDowell here. One of the greatest guys associated with 3X Wrestling. Consummate gentleman, one of the most professional, one of the nicest guys you can run into in a locker room. That's not taken lightly to this whole smear campaign from he, Ryan He's Slade. a nice guy until he tries to break your hip. Oh, it was, a, it was an accident. And Ryan Slade is taking some kind of offense to it here. You know what? You know what? I'm going to let bygones be bygones. I'll give you one time is an accident. But if somebody else here in 3XW gets hurt at the hands of Mark Mad Dog McDowell, then it's a habitual pattern, and I think Commissioner Countryman needs to take a look at maybe it's time that we got rid of Mark Mad Dog McDowell here in 3XW. Uh, you can't even suggest that. This guy doesn't have a mean streak in him. It's all about professionalism when it comes to Mad Dog McDowell. Although with all the things that Ryan Slade's been saying about him, blasting him on the internet, I wouldn't be surprised if Mad Dog comes out here and tries to hurt somebody. It's Ryan Slade speaks the truth. I think Mad Dog's confused because it's the Canadian truth and he doesn't understand. The Canadian truth or maybe an inconvenient truth. An untrue truth, if you will. Ryan Slade, one of the stronger competitors here at 3 x Wrestling, but there is it. You're going to be hard-pressed to find someone that can match the size and strength of Mad Dog McDowell. Yes, I mean, I've I've had oh. many battles with, with Mad Dog McDowell myself, and uh, look at him. Well, after everything you said about him, and then you come out and you slap the man in the face, Maybe he tried to bite Ryan Slade. It's hard to see from oh, come here, on. As, you, as you pointed out earlier. We the best seats in the house. Not down right there with the top wrist lock. Oh, I want a shot right there to the side of the chest. And again, Ryan Slade retreats, gets to the rope, trying to create some separation. Come on, Nikki, rub that shoulder down for Ryan. Yeah, I'm sure that's not the only thing she's rubbed down to get here. She is a professional lady. You show her some respect. Oh, does that mean she got paid? Ryan said hesitant to get back into the ring, and I, for one, can't blame him. He has a 10 count to get back in the ring. A little meeting of the minds here, trying to work over some strategy with his manager. Manager, acquaintance, valet. I mean, what is the professional relationship here between these two? It's a professional relationship. And well, the, the strategy they were working out was how many people are we going to have in the limo after the victory tonight on our way to the clubs here downtown Des Moines? I'm sure you've already reserved your seat. Mad Dog's got him up. Look at him! Look at now, him! Now Dog this woman McDowell. here, she she didn't do anything. Now come on! Now she turned and it ran right to her. She slapped him in the face here last month. That was last month. Obviously, whatever strategy they worked over seems to be going good for him right now. As Ryan Slade's taking the advantage, oh, you can't get the big man up for a slam. No! Oh. Yes, he can, and he does! I stand corrected. What a show of strength there from Slade. Mad Dog quick to kick out there. Barely a one count. Ryan Slade is a former 3XW champion. Do not underestimate. And look at the size of those pectoral muscles the man's walking around with. Oh. Driving the knee right there in the midsection. The referee's got to get him out of the corner here. Now oh, again, right to the midsection there on Mad Dog McDowell. Mad Dog reverses it. Catch a slay trying to come up and over. The straight again. Mickey up on the ropes. She's cheerleading. 
Now come on. Nine down Dex. Again, she interjects herself in this matchup one more time. Suplex up and over. Oh! Mad Dog knocks Slade off the apron and he takes out his own valet. Mad Dog. Mad Dog pushed him right into Nikki Paris. He didn't push him into him. He knocked the man off the apron. If she wasn't out there trying to hold him up, this would have never happened. If she weren't interjecting herself in a match. Mad Dog showing concern. Oh, what's going on here? We've got security. We've got... I mean, what's going on? We got a match. There's a, there's a match going on here still. No, I, I, I think she's legitimately hurt. Oh, now come on. You know, Mad Dog had nothing to do with this. I mean, you ask me if she if she doesn't want to put herself in harm's way, she shouldn't be down there at the ringside interjecting herself in a contest here. The the poor girl, Nikki Paris, landed and hit her head on the hard concrete floor here in the 3XW building. I mean, you, you hate to see an accident like this happen to anybody. No, no, it's not an accident anymore. No, no, come on, it's, it's gotta be an accident. He hit the man while he's standing on the apron. He happened to fall onto his manager who was trying to help him out for the third time in this matchup. I think... I think Mark Mad Dog McDowell is a guy that likes to injure people. And now he's moved on to women. Men, men like Jimmy Rockwell are, are nothing for him. Now he's had to move on to women. Delicious Devin Carter on his way to the ring here. Getting set to take on Rory Fox. Rory Fox so close to becoming the 3X Wrestling Heavyweight Champion last month. In a hard fought matchup. I imagine they saw Rory Fox show a little bit of an aggressive side. I mean we saw the, the we saw the video that he the interview he shot after that match on outside the ring. Questioning maybe not it's whether or not it's time for him to, you know, not play so nice, if you will, in the ring. Yeah, you know, I've been trying to get down to the bottom of this delicious Devin Carter and and what's so delicious about him because I look at the man and I don't see anything delicious about him. Here comes Rory Fox, fan favorite, a true ring veteran, former 3 x Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. You know, 
there you go, a stand up, oh, a class God. act, God. Rory Fox. I just threw up a little bit in my mouth. And, and does, does Rory Fox not know that the 3XW belt is silver, not gold? Well, it's, it's, a, it's an expression, you know, quest for the gold, fighting for the gold. A show of respect there, shaking the hands before a collar up with tie up to start this matchup. I mean, I know being classy and a stand up guy is something that you might not be able to relate to, but I, for one, appreciate a guy like Rory Fox coming out here in a sport that has seemed to lost all sportsmanship. That move right there is called a European arm suplex. Look it up. That Devin Carter was in San Francisco. I didn't realize he had European arms. You know, are we going to have one of our backstage reporters get us a an update on on the condition of Nikki Paris? I'm sure at some point throughout the night we will have an update on Nikki Paris as this match continues. For one, it's. Nice to see Rory Fox out there after that apparent broken nose he suffered last month. Japanese arm drag. Both men feeling each other out here in the onset of this match. Two former champions doing battle here, two ring veterans. <laughs> There's one chant you can start almost anywhere, and it's a USA chant. <laughs> Delicious Devin Carter with a go behind there. Waist lock, or as Commissioner Countryman will call it, a reverse bear hug. Rory Fox counters it into a reverse bear hug of his own. Devin Carter is the size of a bear. Being from San Francisco, bear means a whole different thing, too. Rory Fox trying to find some way out of this. Look at Devin Carter, just putting the point of his chin right between the shoulder blades. Anybody with a brother knows how much that hurts. Rory Fox ducks the line. Back to the waist lock there. No, 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 no elbows. It's a clean fight, little buddy. Neither man able to get an advantage as this one's going. Ugh. What a counter there by Devin Carter. Sends Rory Fox all the way outside right below us. <laughs> Rory Fox questioning the sportsmanlike maneuver there that Devin Carter just applied. Tossing the man to the outside, claiming that it wasn't so sportsman. Devin Carter claiming a little tit for tat, if you will. Suffered a number to the face from Rory. Standing side headlock there from Rory Fox. The crowd trying to get Devin Carter into this. Carter trying to counter. Fight up out of it. Into it, an arm bar there. Irish whip. Rory Fox reverses. Oh, catches Carter coming off with a knee lift. Oh, seated clothesline. Rory Fox reminding everyone that that was a clean forearm shot. Nothing dirty about it. Again, some forearm shots there in the corner. 
Now I for one like this. We had touched upon. It's very rare these days in professional wrestling to see someone upholding the rules. And Devin Carter answers that with a couple of right hands. Oh, Rory Fox, the knee lift there. You can uphold all the rules you want, but at the end of the day, if you're going to be that guy, you're not going to be upholding the gold. I thought you said it was silver. I thought you said it was a metaphor. Rory Fox over the forearm shot. Right in the small of the back. Again, reminding the fans, they're just forearm shots. They're completely legal. Yeah. See, that's the problem with Rory Fox. He's more worried about what the fans think and pleasing these fans than he is about winning the match. Devin Carter up and over into a pitfall. Only a two count there. Oh, a kick there to the midsection. I'm now apologizing for that kick. The fans getting on Rory's case a little bit there after those two kicks. Oh, forearm shot there from Rory Fox. Snap right over. Into a submission hold there. Rory Fox got the arm chicken wing. Oh! Drives the knee back to the spine there. Oh, again, another knee. I mean, that's got to been send shockwaves up and down your body. It makes it very uncomfortable to sleep later tonight for Devin Carter, that's for sure. Yeah, oh, snap suplex there. Rory Fox with an elbow. Targeting the small of the back there at Devin Carter. Rory Fox has turned the tide in this match and he's uh he's been in control for the last minute or two here. Oh come on! Now Rory Fox to work to the eyes, the face. For a guy that came out here apologizing for his actions, that's not exactly the most sportsmanlike thing to do. Rory Fox might be letting his emotions get the better of him here. And his, his obsession with the rules tonight. I mean... Well, he took a lot of flack oh, from fans on social media. You know, he wants to, he wants to show the fans that he is very sportsmanlike. He's not one to take a shortcut to try and win a match. Oh, Devin Carter moves out of the way. Oh, what a clothesline. Follows it up with a back elbow right at the point of the jaw. Oh, what a scoop slam into a pin. Only a two count. Rory Fox, good for a handshake there in the middle of the match. Devin Carter having none of it. That was, that was great strategy by Rory Fox. He stopped and slowed the momentum of Devin Carter that he had. Oh, and again, right to the eyes. Oh, now come on. The guy's pulling the tights. They come out here claiming to be such a sportsman, and now he's done nothing for the last three minutes but break the rules. Hey, you know. <laughs> oh, Carter caught him coming in. Maybe Rory Fox is tired of losing. Sometimes when you're on a losing streak, you you got to do some unorthodox things to get back on the winning side, to get to get on track again. Rory Fox catching his breath. Oh, he's claiming to have enough of this. Devin Carter says, "Not so fast." Brings Rory Fox right back into the ring. Oh, 
Oh, Ray Fox. Oh, come on. He kicks the rope, calls it a low blow. Use the referee. I'm starting to think that apology before this wasn't sincere at all, Brady. You know, I, I like what Rory Fox did here tonight. I'm sure you do. He, he, he impressed me. He, he impressed me quite a bit. He showed me something that I didn't think the man had inside of him. Possibly putting him up for contender to the uh, desirable wrestler of the month. Maybe. We'll see. We still got a lot of show to go. Oh, he come out here apologizing to these fans, and now he's telling them to stick it. This makes me sick. You know, if if Rory Fox continues down with this newfound attitude that he seems to have, he could be uh, walking around with the 3XW Silver in a very, very short time. God, I can't believe this, man. I didn't mean to do this. Why is he doing this to me for? Why is he giving me such a bully? I'm not a bully. I didn't even see it. Oh. Hey, Mike. What's wrong, buddy? Oh, I'm just having the worst goddamn day I could possibly imagine. I have a match with Ryan. He's just getting in my head about being a bully, and I just don't understand. Oh, you're not a bully? Then I, 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 I threw Ryan and landed okay, on this okay. girl. Here's I think she's dead. Mark, look. <laughs> I understand that you're upset, but you're not even breathing. So I want you to breathe. Take a deep breath in for me. Let it out. <sighs> okay, good, good, good. Now you see me doing yoga like all the time, and you know that centers me, right? I don't know anything about that. I think I saw a 14 major joints, eight major muscles, all in alignment. My chi is centered. I just got this belly. <laughs> I know, man. But listen, if you'll indulge me, I think I can help you calm down. Would you like to try just one yoga pose? Like something simple. I'll try anything. Okay, sure. So you put your elbow into your waist, put your arm out like your mom is giving you money, reach back, grab the inside of your ankle, reach up to the sky, knees to the Oh, shit, gee. Hey, okay. Well, I don't know about this, Mike. <sighs> Maybe a little bit advanced. Why don't we just try the basic meditation stance that we get in yoga? So let's sit. Okay. Careful. Oh. Careful, careful. Okay. Cross, cross your legs. Wrists on your knees. Back straight. Okay. I want you to take a deep breath in. And I want you to let it all out. <laughs> Mike? Mike? Yeah! I got a 3XW Universe, I don't know if you just saw that, but good guy Mr. Rory Fox kicked me a place where you don't kick guys. Luckily I'm not singing a couple octaves higher, and I think, I think I'm still going to be able to have little Carters later. But I don't know if you've seen any of my matches, but that's not how I win. That's not how a lot of these guys win. That's how, you know, that's it's an illegal maneuver. And Rory, I didn't expect that out of you. We shook hands, I thought it was gonna be a good straight fight. Well now I know better. And next month, when we get in the ring again, I won't get fooled again. What did I tell you? What do you, what do you Mad Dog McDowell is not happy injuring Jimmy Rockwell. Now he injures Ryan Slade's girlfriend, Nikki Paris. Oh, the, the girl was on the apron three different times. She had no business getting involved in the match. She As wasn't involved. Happened. She was outside the ring. She was. Mark Mad Dog McDowell, I want to know what he has it personally against my close personal friend, Ryan Slade. He is attacking this man through his best friend, now through his girlfriend. 
I mean, what's next? Is he gonna go after Ryan Slade's grandma? That's neither here nor there. We've got, Somebody more, needs to, we've got more impressive things to talk about. Somebody needs to find Mad Dog McDowell, and they need to lock him up in the pound where wild dogs go. What a show we've got for you next week. The biggest episode of 3X Wrestling's All-Stars of the Midwest. We're calling this Championship Week. For the first time, all three titles will be on the line on one action-packed show. We've got Craig Kieseman taking on Zach Thompson the 3X Wrestling Pure Heavyweight Champion. We've got the Wang Chung Warriors defending their titles they don't even possess right now against the King Brothers. They're they trying have... to win their titles against the King Brothers. They're still the champions, they just don't have the belts. We argue about this every week, so... And our main event, what a huge matchup this should be. Jeremy Wyatt taking on Showtime Bradley Charles. Bradley Charles has been itching for this opportunity and this whole controversy. We'll see if it comes to a head as far as the uh, Killer City Kings, this mystery investor, Todd, Todd Countryman. So many things need answers and we'll get them for you all next week.